Well, first, let me wish to all the viewers of Kurdistan 24 a blessed Bayram, um, and it's a pleasure to be back on K24. Uh, the talks in Washington this week and next week, uh, currently with Foreign Minister Fuad Hussein, who you just saw on the tape, and next week with Prime Minister Mustafa Al-Kazimi, uh, will be important in discussing the entire relationship between the United States and Iraq. The focus of the press has been all about what might the future of American and other coalition forces in Iraq be. Uh, but the reality is the, the agenda for the dialogue is much broader and touches on a number of different things. On the question of uh, the American and coalition troop presence, uh, I, I think what the talks are going to aim to do and I think that Prime Minister Kazemi's intention is to show that the American and coalition forces in Iraq are actually not involved in a combat role and have not been involved for a long time. Uh, as uh, the foreign minister, uh, Kakfu Ad, said, it is uh, still necessary for some coalition forces to help Iraq in terms of training, in terms of intelligence support, and also potentially in terms of support from the air for uh, airstrikes and air raids that Iraqi forces cannot do on their own. Uh, this has been the American and the coalition role for the past three or four years, but it is important to define it publicly because the narrative from Iran and the narrative from the militias in the south of Iraq have tried to define the American military presence as an occupying force. Uh, it is not an occupying force. But there are, of course, a lot of divisions inside Iraq. Um, and frankly, that is both Iraq's strength and Iraq's weakness. Um, Iraq can be a very powerful, integrated society that takes advantage of all of the abilities of all of its components, uh, or it can be run by one particular component at the expense of others. You saw that during the period of Saddam Hussein. Uh, what I think the talks in Washington this week will show more clearly, however, is that Iraq remains crucial for American interests in the Middle East for several reasons. First of all, uh, the United States does not want to see Daesh reappear and get stronger. So I anticipate that there will be continued American and coalition support in the battle against Daesh. Second, there are concerns inside Iraq, but also outside of Iraq, about the influence of Iran and Iranian-supported militias and political parties in Iraq, in Syria, in Lebanon. And the United States does not want to see Iraq or other countries in the region uh, under greater influence from Iran. But most importantly, I think, is that what happens in Iraq has a great influence on the rest of the region. If Iraq is stable, the rest of the region can more easily be stable. If Iraq is prosperous, the rest of the region can more easily be prosperous. So the talks in Washington are going to talk about the security element, but also about the economic element, investment, uh, corruption and inefficiency in government, and the basic fairness of the system in Iraq to make sure that all of the components of Iraq are fairly represented and their interests are taken into account. Well, first, I don't believe that the United States is going to uh, completely withdraw from, from Iraq or abandon Iraq. Uh, 
the situation in Iraq and American interests in Iraq are fundamentally different than American interests in Afghanistan. So anyone who draws a parallel between the two is comparing, as we say in English, apples and oranges. Uh, the role of the United States, the goal of President Biden and his policy is to strengthen the Iraqi government. And that doesn't necessarily mean only the government in Baghdad. It means to make sure that uh, regional governments, that local governments are less corrupt, are more efficient, and are more responsive to the desires of the people. And on the security front, to make sure that only security forces that follow the decisions of the government have weapons that are able to use them. Currently, a number of forces which are theoretically part of the Hashid al-Shabi do not follow the orders of the prime minister. Um, and I do fear that an expansion of the powers of these groups that do not listen to the prime minister is the biggest threat to Iraqi sovereignty. Uh, that is a very good question, and this will depend upon the support of Iraqis who do not believe in the vision of these Shia militias. It will depend upon the support of Kurds, the support of Sunnis, the support of Christians, the support of Yazidis, the support of Shia who want to see Baghdad as a strong Arab capital, who want to see Iraq as a strong, independent and sovereign country. Um, there needs to be more internal support for reforms in the government and make it more efficient and more political pressure on those who do not follow the wish and the will of the governments. So uh, there is always a problem if you have a part of your government structure that does not agree to follow the political leadership, the prime minister, uh, but it is up to the, it's the responsibility of Iraqis as well to put pressure on their own political leaders to support policies that will strengthen the government in Baghdad, strengthen the independence and the sovereignty of Iraq, and strengthen the ability of all communities in Iraq to uh, live safe and prosperous lives. I think that American support for the Kurdistan region is going to continue, uh, particularly under the Biden administration. There is deep experience and deep knowledge and frankly, friendship between President Biden, um, Secretary of State Blinken and other senior officials in this administration with uh, Kurdish officials um, in Erbil and in Suleimaniya. There is an understanding of the problems of Kurdistan there is an understanding of the opportunities for the Kurdistan region politically and economically. And uh, the United States continues to provide support directly to some units of the Peshmerga, which does not happen to other parts of, uh, other parts of, of Iraq. We provide assistance to security forces that belong to the central government in Baghdad, but also to the Peshmerga. Uh, the United States has political support, has a lot of friends, including me, in the country and in Washington. And we are constantly watching to make sure that there is a proper balance and the views of Kurdistan and Iraqi Kurds are taken into account. We are not always effective in pursuing those goals, um, but they are things that are constantly on our minds and there are American administration officials and politicians who do think quite a lot and quite often about Kurdistan. And that should be good news for 
uh, the viewers of Kurdistan 24. Zorspas. <laughs>